The clock runs out exactly two weeks from tonight. Now, we first told you about this deadline. We reported on it earlier this week, and tonight we are focusing on one group, and many members of this group are not aware of this deadline or that they can sign up. They are some of the people who kept the area afloat during those dark days. Doormen, porters, handymen, some security guards. There's a couple of hundred of us down there, maybe a thousand. Joel Rodriguez Marrero was a young father working in the maintenance department in a building directly across the street from where the Twin Towers stood. You can see the buildings in the window in this photo with co workers. Even with the trauma of what he witnessed, he returned to the high rise apartment building within days. It was pretty frightening. And, um, uh, and to this day, I think about it because of the stuff that I inhaled and breathed. It worries me a lot. I even coughed up like. You know, uh, it seems like powder. Joel is part of the 9 11 community. The roughly half a million people who lived, worked, attended school, or volunteered in the exposure zone between 9 11 2001 and May 30th, 2002. The Victim Compensation Fund was established to assist those who developed health issues over time. Lee London is with Barish and McGarry, a law firm that represents survivors and victims. While 80% of first responders have signed up for the fund, many others, including building workers, have not. The maintenance staff that cleaned up the streets as well, that used to um, fix um, certain buildings and kept the city alive. They're the ones that don't know about these programs. The list of qualifying conditions includes respiratory illnesses and dozens of cancers. With the July 29th deadline, time is running out. Doormen and building workers have been organizing through their union to get the word to their members about the need to register in time. If you're perfectly healthy right now, we are urging everybody to register just to preserve their future legal rights. Day in, day out, Joel was surrounded by the toxic substances at Ground Zero, all because he wanted to do his job to help the residents of the building he worked in. He now lives with persistent respiratory issues. The amount of uh, debris and material that, uh, that was in that building and, 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 and stuff you probably inhaled can catch up to you later on in years. And Joel has registered for the Victim Compensation Fund, and he is encouraging his former colleagues to do the same. Now, the VCF is fully and permanently funded. We're live tonight in Lower Manhattan. I'm Shirley Chan, PIX11 News.